Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about WordPress and Power Automate, two of my favorite things. This is my blog. Hopefully you've seen it. It's CRMHeidi.com and I run my blog through WordPress. Now, one thing I do not have on my blog is a contact form. So for a solution, I want to have something that works really nicely with Power Automate and WordPress. And I have decided to connect contact form seven with Power Automate. And I'm doing that using the Power Form 7 connector. So this is more information about the connector itself. It's powerform7.com. It costs $29 a month if you want to do it monthly or $199 for an annual fee. Um, so I've gone ahead and published a month of this and we're going to test it out and see how it goes. But as I set it up in my WordPress, I thought it would be really great to kind of record the process in case anybody else is interested in following along. In the magic of editing, I've brought you directly to the back end of my website. So here is contact form seven within my WordPress dashboard. And I have a contact me form, super simple. Your name, your email, subject, and your message, submit. That's as simple as it is. Um, obviously you can make these much more complex, but we're gonna keep things simple here because that's how we like to do it. Uh, once you're done building your form, you're just gonna save it in WordPress. And then when I come to contact, you'll see I now have this contact me form, which is super exciting. The next thing we wanna do is actually install the plugin for PowerForm 7. Now again, I've already gone to powerform7.com. I've clicked the get started button um, and I've gone through and processed my payment. So that is a prerequisite you'll need to take. And you'll obviously also need to have a form in contact form seven in your WordPress. So we're gonna go to plugins and that's gonna install all of my plugins that I have today. And I'm gonna click add new up at the top. And all we have to do is simply search for PowerForm seven. Uh, when I did this before my recording, it actually showed up on the, the second page. So it's got that red circle at the seven, which is what I'm looking for on the screen. Um, and since I've already purchased the license, all I have to do is click install now, which is super awesome. So look how simple that was. It installed in mere seconds. And now from here, I can click that activate button as well, which is going to activate that plugin. And then we can start using it in Power Automate. Now we're back in the contact form seven area of our WordPress dashboard and underneath contact forms, you can see we have a new option here. So we have add new, it's adding a new form through contact form seven um, integration and ah, power automate settings. So let's click into power automate settings. And this is where I'm going to insert my license key. So I have my license key. It was emailed to me mere moments after I submitted my order for PowerForm 7. So you'll receive an email from the folks at PowerForm 7. And then you can just copy and paste directly in here. That email also includes a download of the plugin in case you need it for any other reason. The final thing I have to do is select a Power Automate user. This is just kind of the, the service account that's gonna be used by Power Automate. So I'm gonna select myself um, and site URL. So this is important if you're gonna have more than one URL um, that's configured that's using Power Form 7 and the Contact Form 7 solution, you'll need to know which site URL you're gonna select when you're actually building out your flow. So once you're done all that, you're gonna click Save Settings and then we have finished the setup of PowerForm 7 in WordPress, which is awesome. So next, I want to just build out a really simple sample flow just because we can and it's fun. So the magic of editing, we're just going to swoosh right over to that. Welcome to make.powerapps.com. I've already selected my environment and I am already in the flows area of make.powerapps.com and I'm going to click at the top new flow and we're going to select an automated cloud flow. So we'll name this CRM Heidi contact me. My trigger is the PowerForm 7. So I'll just type in PowerForm. Um, so here we go. It's right here again. Look for that red circle if you're implementing this connector when a contact form seven form is submitted. So let's select that and then tap create. So the first thing I need to do is grab the connection name and that license key. Hopefully your license key email is still handy. 
So I've got it on my other screen. I'm just gonna pop it in here. And the connection name, um, if we come back over to your, your WordPress side, is that site URL. So you can just copy that. Obviously, you most likely know your site URL, but it's got that full HTTPS connection there, hopefully. And then you're gonna create, that creates that connection and boom, we're in the whole area of Power Automate now. So WordPress site URL, uh, mine's only one, crmheidi.com. If you have more than one domain, they'd all be listed here. And then which contact form seven, again, we're using this uh, based on the one form I've built. So I only have one form right now, which is contact me. So now we have our trigger. Anytime a contact form seven form is submitted from crmheidi.com on the contact me form, we need something to happen. Now, um, I haven't thought any further than this moment. So what can we do? Let's click next step. And then we have a ton of different connectors. Now I can think of a ton of business use cases, but um, I just kind of want to have a little fun because it's Friday at 3 p.m. in my neck of the woods. So let's have fun. Let's do Twitter. Let's post a tweet. I don't think I would ever actually do that here, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, so we're gonna authenticate into Twitter, which I thought I already had, but clearly this is brand new for me. I've never done this particular use case before. Um, so we're gonna authorize that app. I'm not gonna save it. Okay, cool. So what the heck are we gonna say? This will be fun, okay. So again, our trigger, anytime a contact me form is submitted on crmheidi.com, we are going to tweet something. What should we tweet? Let's tweet great googly moogly. <laughs> I submitted a form. Hello world. This is, and we're gonna add dynamic content, your name. And here is what I have to say. Your message. This could be fun. This could also be dangerous. Um, and, and media, I'm, I'm not gonna post any of the media. So let's save. And uh, let's run it through a check, right? So we're gonna run flow checker first. I always love running flow checker. It'll tell me if there's any errors or warnings it sees. Um, and then we're gonna test. We're gonna manually test it. So I'm gonna click test. And here's my contact form seven. So my name is Heidi. My email is Heidi at reenhance.com. Please totally feel free to email me and say hello. Subject, hello, and message. It's Fry, yay, and submit. All right, so we triggered it. <gasps> worked. I want to go to Twitter and see. Let's go to Twitter real quick and check it out. I forgot to tag myself in the tweet, but there it is. Great googly moogly. I submitted a form. Hello world. This is Heidi and here's what I have to say. It's fry. Yay. That was really fun. Okay. So that's like a silly example of how we could use this. But it's Friday and we should have fun on Fridays. And since it's Friday and in the spirit of fun, I'm going to leave my flow on and publish. So if any of you watch this in the next probably week before I deactivate it, I'm just going to let this keep running and we'll see what happens. Also, if you've stayed tuned for this entire thing, I would like to thank you by rewarding you with a super cool discount code. If you use CRM Heidi, when you purchase your Power Form 7, I'm gonna get you a month free. So that's $29 off. That's one free month of testing out the Power Form 7 connector. Again, use CRM Heidi, and you only get that if you stay tuned to the end of the video. Um, so happy Friday, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. We did a lot today in just a few minutes. We've created a new Contact Form 7 form on my WordPress site. We have set up and authenticated the Power Form 7 connector, and we built a super cool flow, and now you can spam my Twitter and have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts for some future videos, and we can play with some more Power Automate fun. Bye, guys.